This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, August 15th. I'm James Spann. Again, a very dry air mass stays in place today, but we all know the heat and the humidity will be coming back sooner or later. Let's go in there and take a look. This is the big picture this morning, the water vapor satellite view across the nation. Got a big uh, still trough in the northeast United States, a troughing back in the Pacific Northwest, but uh, ridging will start to build in next week, and that means uh, we'll see that old summer heat coming back. After all, this is August in Alabama, but still this morning it feels good. We're still seeing 50s up on the map, 57 for Fort Payne. Uh, right before daybreak, upper 50s for Haleyville and Cullman. The high today around 90, low 90s for the weekend. And uh, we could see mid 90s by the middle part of next week. Around the nation feels very nice over the Great Lakes. Again, uh, some 40s up there. Nice and refreshing. Nice fall preview. Boy, it's quiet around the nation. Uh, no severe weather today. Just a few uh, counties up north with flash flood watches. And that's about it. Looks like a dense fog uh, advisory for the Atlanta metro. This is the overall rain for the next five days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week, suggesting rain amounts of a little over one half inch on an average basis. And the tropics are still very quiet. You know, we're getting into the peak of the hurricane season here in the Atlantic Basin. It's just not happening this year because the air out there is so dry. Waves are coming off the African coast, but they just uh, fizzle out in the dry air. We'll check the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid today at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars, the OZ run. Of course, the dominant feature is the East Coast trough. And again, uh, bright, sunny weather today. A little hotter this afternoon. The high should be around 90. Tomorrow, we stay dry. Low 90s are likely. The sky mostly sunny. Dew points gradually creeping up. And this is Sunday. Uh, we will probably just mention some outside risk of an afternoon shower or storm, but they'll be fairly scattered. Uh, the bulk of the day should be dry, and again, low 90s are likely. And then Monday, moisture increases. <clears throat> again, we note that surface load that's over Ohio with a trailing front. The front never makes it through here, but clearly there should be an increase in scattered showers and storms on Monday. This is Tuesday. And Wednesday, and both of those days, again, the chance of scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms with highs low 90s, maybe creeping up toward the mid 90s. And I think we will see mid 90s late next week. This is uh, Thursday, the showers thinning out. And Friday, a big old nasty 594 heat ring just west of the state, centered around the Arklatex. And again, uh, clearly that looks uh, relatively dry with only isolated showers, hot, humid. That's the way it ought to be in August. And if you look at the uh, temperature forecast off the ensemble, you can see those mid-90s creeping in here toward the end of next week and the following weekend. Check the end of the forecast, August 30th. We've still got uh, troughing in the west and ridging in the east in this case, which is the flip of what we've seen most of the summer. And if that's right, it would be kind of hot and sticky with only an outside risk of a shower. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.